To balance this equation, Fe2O3 plus C yields Fe plus CO2, let's count up the atoms on each side of the equation. We have two irons here, three oxygens, and then just one carbon. Over on the product side, we have one iron, we have two oxygens, and then we have the one carbon. So I look at it, I see that I have two irons here, one here. I could just put a two to fix the Fe, but this odd number of oxygens, whenever I see that, I really want to get that to be an even number. That'll save me a lot of time in the end. So to make this an even number, I'm going to multiply it by two, and that will give me six. So I need to multiply two here towards the whole thing. So I have my oxygen. That's the three times the two here. That gives us the six. And this two applies to the iron as well. So two times two, that'll give me four iron atoms. Now, when I go back to the products, if I want to get this to be equal to six, I'll just multiply it by three. That would give me six. So I'll put a coefficient of three in front of the CO2. Two times three, that gives me six. And now my carbon, I need to update that. One times the three, I have three carbons. But now it's not too bad to solve. I have three carbons here and one here. Let's just put a coefficient of three in front of the carbon. One times three, that equals three. They're balanced. Irons are left. I have four irons on the reactants, only one over here. I'll just put a four in front of the Fe, and that'll give me four iron atoms. And with that, we're done. Everything is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for iron three oxide plus carbon yields iron plus carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching.